Baruch, good morning. This morning we're going to learn the 41st and the 42nd steps to acquiring Torah. The 41st step to acquiring Torah is, as the Mishnah says, Mityasher Libo Betalmudo, that one's heart should be at ease and instilled properly in their Torah study. And what that means is, when we study, to not let it be overly passive, yet we should concentrate and really understand that every word that we are being read or that we are reading or that we are being taught and really letting it make an imprint on ourselves, making it something that we really matter, that really matters to us, opposed to just reading it like a newspaper or like a comic book, Hasve Shalom, really something that matters. Like when a person has to study for a test and they're really trying to understand every single line and every concept, so too, HaKadosh Baruch Hu tells us that the way for us to grow in our Torah study is taking it seriously and paying attention and literally putting our heart to, our heart and our mind, obviously, to what we are, what we are learning. And even though we're not being tested in this world, per se, on what we've learned, we know that in Olam Haba, when we come, we will be tested on what we have learned and what not and that will obviously give us great merit. So that's the 41st. The 42nd is, I think, one of the most interesting concepts and it's sometimes very simple, yet very overlooked. Some read the Mishnah to say it's just shoel mishiv, to ask and answer. And part of asking and answering is obviously a way you learn. One of the greatest ways to actually teach is in a question format. For example, the Kuzari, the Yudha Levi, he wrote his whole sefer on philosophy, on Jewish philosophy, in a question-answer form. The Haggadah, we look at the Haggadah, the way of Chachamim Yisrael was all very much in a question-answer form because when you ask a question, now you're getting everyone else's mind to start working and they're lending themselves to you. That's one aspect. But there's a better uh, girsah, a better transcription of the Mishnah to say as follows, Sho'el ka'inyan, that we are supposed to, if we want to grow in our Torah study, to ask on topic and basically also answer on topic, answer practically. That is so important in every aspect in life. Because sometimes people inquire or ask questions and their intentions are not to know. Sometimes their intentions are to be heard, to look smart, to chas shalom bash the other person. That's in every realm. Also in Torah, there's no room for that. There's no, there's no growth in that. No growth for you, no growth for the other. When a person asks, they should be asking because they really care and they're inquiring. And if you're learning one topic, don't bring me something from somewhere else. It's not good for you, it's not good for, for who you're learning with or learning from. If it's off topic, but there's a connection and you're making it clear that that's why you're doing it, there's room for that. That's Sho'el Ka'inyan, asking on topic. And answering kahalakha, answering precisely and practically is also very important. Don't give a roundabout and a maybe and a this and a that and a, and a disagreement. If you are asked to answer a question, and obviously you know the answer. If you don't, there's no mitzvah to answer. But if you know the question, try to give a direct answer. Give it the way you know it. Whether it's right or wrong, at least give your opinion based on the way you know it and don't give the person roundabout answer, a fluffy answer, a flaky answer, rather, meshif kahalacha. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu bless us that number one from the 41st step, we will dedicate ourselves completely to our learning Torah and put all of our efforts into it and for the 42nd to always answer on topic and, uh, sorry, to ask on topic and also be answered practically. Amen. 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 Amen.